Hey there, my star scientists. It's Stan the Star, and I'm thrilled to have you here today. Get ready for a hands-on adventure as we explore the exciting world of kinetic energy. We'll conduct experiments to see how speed and mass influence how objects move. From rolling marbles to racing toy cars, you'll experience kinetic energy in action. By the end of our experiments, you'll understand why faster objects can create such a big impact. Today, we are going to investigate kinetic energy through experiments, measure how speed affects object motion, understand why faster objects have more impact, and identify real-world examples of kinetic energy. Ready for some hands-on science fun? Let's get started. For our first experiment, grab a marble and some cardboard to create a ramp. Roll the marble down a few times, adjusting the ramp's height each time. What do you notice? That's right! The higher the ramp, the faster the marble goes. This is just like a skateboard ramp. When skateboarders start from a higher point, they gain extra speed, giving them more kinetic energy to perform cool tricks. Here's a quick question. When the marble rolls faster, does it have A. More kinetic energy B. Less kinetic energy or C. The same kinetic energy? Think for a moment. Got your answer? If you chose A, more kinetic energy, you're spot on. The faster something moves, the more kinetic energy it builds up. Now, let's take it up a notch. Grab a toy car and some lightweight objects like paper cups. Set up the ramp again, placing the cups at the bottom. Roll the car down and see what happens. Adjust the ramp's height again. What did you observe? When the ramp is higher, the car moves faster and knocks over more objects. This happens because a faster car has more kinetic energy to transfer to the cups. This is similar to bumper cars at an amusement park. When a fast-moving bumper car hits a slower one, it transfers its kinetic energy, bumping the slower car out of the way. The faster the bumper car, the bigger the bump. Ready for one more experiment? Find two balls of the same size but different weights, like a tennis ball and a baseball. Roll them down the ramp at the same time. Which one reaches the bottom first? The heavier ball, right? That's because it has more mass, giving it more energy as it rolls. This experiment highlights something important. Mass matters too. Both speed and mass affect kinetic energy. Even a slow-moving heavy object can have more kinetic energy than a fast-moving light object. Think about this. In bowling, a heavier ball can knock down more pins, even if it's not thrown as fast as the lighter ball. The extra mass gives it more kinetic energy to transfer to the pins. You've done an amazing job today. You've earned your second Argos Star. This star celebrates your understanding of kinetic energy in the real world. Way to go! Let's quickly recap what we've learned. Faster objects have more kinetic energy. Kinetic energy enables objects to do more work. Both speed and mass affect how much kinetic energy an object has. And we can observe kinetic energy in experiments and real-life situations. Remember, young scientists, Energy is all around us, helping us understand the world, from rolling marbles to racing toy cars. The next time you're playing sports, riding in a car, or watching things move, think about the kinetic energy involved. This is Stan the Star, blasting off until next time. Keep experimenting and exploring, scientists. Had fun spinning through science with us? The adventure doesn't have to end here. Join us at argoprep.com for more awesome discoveries. Subscribe now and continue your journey through the Argo Prep universe. Let's make learning and adventure together. Visit argoprep.com and start learning today.